sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. I normally don't watch it, but I wanted to watch it. Um, love and hip hop. The finale. Uh, what do you the what do you reunion. call it? The reunion mm -hmm. thing. Because I knew that K. Michelle was going to be performing in it. Right. And so you had to sit and watch the whole episode <laughs> <laughs> before you got to this <laughs> fucking amazing, like exhilarating, exciting, powerful performance. Thank that, you. And, you know, I was going to text you like uh, a you couple of weeks have. ago. I should have <laughs> because... A couple of weeks ago, I was watching, and it was something happening. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a very entertaining show. Um, like, wow, wow. You, it's kind of like a guilty pleasure. And you were in the middle of something, and I, and I was going to text you, damn it, I just really, you know, you above that, in my yeah. opinion. And I just really want your music to speak, you know, yeah, for man. people to hear you sing. And I was going to text you that, but I didn't want it to, you know, text could be misinterpreted. I didn't want no, it to read incorrectly and say, gonna bother me. that wasn't going to bother you, so I no. should have did it. Yo, girl, I just want to hear you sing. All this drama stuff seemed like it's be beneath you, mm -hmm. but I give you credit. Kelly and I were talking about this. Y'all had a conversation about you last night. Good, like, I, I, good, I, I, good, I, I call, good. I call Kelly, yo, I'm looking at K. Michelle. Are you seeing, I'm getting chills off this shit. And then we, she was commending you on... The fact that, you know, one thing K. Michelle did is she utilized that platform to her advantage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she did it the right way. And yeah. at the end of it all, people got to see you blow. What kind of response did you get from that performance? Everybody loved it. The album, I didn't, you know, the album is number one on two, one and two on the R&B chart. Congratulations. Yeah. So, and um, the single is number four and Album, like over the country, like the full album, it's number three. Lady Gaga got in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga got a country singer got in my way. Damn, damn. But uh, I didn't even know I was going to go over there today, Charts. <laughs> so, um, that is big, though. Like, you're yeah, man. now, this is the dream. This is what it's been all about. Yes. You know, uh, through the mixtapes, you know, yeah. um, to zero fucks given and to, to now. Yeah. You right. know, this is what it's all about, right? Yeah, like it's really, it's just really been amazing. Today I'm doing a um, concert that you can watch on 106 and Park. It's 106 wow. and K today. Mm -hmm. It's just a full concert of the songs and mm -hmm. everything. So it's what, you know, I've been in the studio. Heather has come by the studio mm -hmm. um, while I've been working. And I just want, like you said, mm -hmm. I just really want the music to speak. And I'll be on the road a year. You know, for a whole year? Yes, oh, okay. this label is saying this is an R&B album. This is a work album. Yeah. And, you know, you got to get out there and work it. And, you know, R&B albums, you know, they sell over time. They mm -hmm. go, they go, they go. Mm -hmm. So I need this year out here on the road to go and connect. Now, when you look at the titles of some of these songs, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. You got a song called Can't Raise a Man. Ha. What yes. Is that, what is that song about? Just what it, it says. says. You yeah. can't write them. They he got older but never grew. Mm. You know, if yeah. his mama couldn't do it, what makes you think you can train that boy to be a man? It's too late. Damn, that's up. I ain't heard that. Um, yeah. Hate on her. Yeah, like um, people, women, we always hate on each other for a man cheating and in his situations. And this one is a different spin. It's saying, you know, I can't even hate on the woman. I can't even hate on her because I know how low you are. Hmm. You want to comment here? I saw you shake like you almost was about to testify. I was telling her when she, I'm sorry, I was telling her when she came in, people were hitting me about some of her lyrics and stuff and just smiling. And I think one of the things that's never shown enough about female artists in particular is that how much like writing you do and the work that you mm -hmm. put in and it's important. So when all of this is said and done, you're a writer, Michelle. Like yes. that's that part is never shown. How much time will you have now when you're going on the road for a year to write? You're gonna be writing a stuff? lot. Um a lot. I'm gonna make sure I definitely have studio equipment and studios available to me because so much goes on and I wanna write on the spot. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm already ready to get into another album. I had started songs and finished. I fought for songs to get on mm -hmm. the album. They was like, this album is closed. Like, so I already have started to build a catalog for the second album because I just go in and work. Nice. Good. Now, is there any topic? Because you're so open and transparent with your life on yeah. camera and off camera. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering when it comes to like the cutting room floor, Yes. Is there any topic that you're just like, it's too deep, I'll have to talk to other people about it? 
yeah, I don't play with my child. Mm. Mm. Like, I don't bring him on on, on Love and Hip Hop. I don't post Instagram pictures on him because I'm the kind of person I don't play about my people. Right. And, you know, I see how they celebrities put up their kids. They talk about their kids. See, I find you about my child. So I don't, I, it's just best until, <laughs> it's just best until I can mature into that, that people are going to say things about, you know, your loved ones and things like that, that I just keep it away mm-hmm. from yeah. the public because I'm not there yet. And see, that'll be the next <laughs> title of a song, I'll Find You. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, right? yeah. right, uh- it's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.